Alright, day 28. Yes, day 28. It has now been nearly a Minecraft week between my last video and the ending of my last video and this current one. I have done a teensy bit of building, a tiny bit of digging, and a whole crap ton of waiting while, uh, we, while I was away. Um... Uh, today's video will probably be a little longer than uh, my past videos, specifically because I've got a lot to do and a lot to show, and I, I want to do it all in one take instead of breaking it up into multiple videos, because it's just, it, it gets a little annoying sometimes to, um, you can see I've dug around that pillar there, I dug around the one before, which I'd showed, and of course, um, that pillar back there is already on water, so it didn't matter. And this, I've dug a hollow in the opening for it here. Uh, we're going to start today by bringing down my grass ladder, or steps here. You see I put up torches from the exterior of the home, which is nice. It helps light it up underneath the bowl, because it was getting kind of dark. But, uh, like I said, there's going to be a lot to do today. Uh, today, today, multiple days. It'll be several Minecraft days. Uh, it'll take at least two, I imagine. Um... Two full, like, day times. Uh, you know, a full, like, midnight to daytime, whatever. Anyways, I'm off, like, rambling about the specifics of how time passes in the game. Uh, which is not really important. Uh, this makes me, uh, I was, uh, playing a game the other day, last night, uh, called, um, uh, machinarium, mach, machinium, hell, I can't even remember. It was called Machinarium. Machinarium. It's, you know, like a sanitarium, but with the word machine. And, uh, it's a little short flash game, puzzle type flash game that was developed by a, a small independent type group. And, uh, I had downloaded it and gave it a try, and it kind of made me think of, like, I mean, it was all scripted, because, uh, like, everything was hand-drawn in the game, in the game, so it looked really, like, cool to interact with, but everything, all the events were scripted, but it still makes me think of how amazing it would be to have games that were artistic in nature, but still fluid and dynamic, and could adjust. And I remember reading an article um, about the new Rayman game. And I'll be perfectly honest, I've never played any of the Rayman games. The little floaty head and body dude with his no limbs. And uh, they seem interesting enough. I'm sure they're great little platformers, but I just never got into it. Um, I sort of missed out on the time when he was, when it first came out, I wasn't playing video games, like, I was away, or, I don't know, I was doing something, and I was somewhere where video games weren't frequently part of my life, and so I missed out on Raymond, and, uh, but I've always been interested in the, uh, the rabbit rabbits, whatever, came from his universe, so, and then they branched off into their own games, uh, but they have this new technology they developed that's... It's basically like a, uh, a program that it's it adaptively, like, after you scan in art, it can adaptively let you change the art. And, like, it understands, like, the structure of images or something. I don't know the full details, but it sounds, the way it's described, like one of the most revolutionary things I've ever heard of. And it allows you to basically just take any pieces of art and combine them. I'm showing you here, I've uh, expanded inside on my ground level area here. I've uh, been making some room to move my chests and everything down here and get them out of the little small room above because it's a little too crowded and it's getting on my nerves. So I'm going to adjust 
and uh, make things different. Um, I dug out down here below. The room is now square instead of being a rectangle. So there's that. I needed more cobble, and it's down a couple layers from where it was the last time. And, um, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, the uh, the art. Oh, wait, one more thing. These are the uh, the small build I've done here. I installed these pillars and put torches all around them because it was just kind of dark, and I wanted to take up the torches that were on the floor just because it didn't seem very clean. So that's a little more organized, and uh, that's the way I like it. But this, uh, this, this program was... This is my mind. They take all these images from artists, and they somehow this program interlaces them together to create an adaptable environment that can be adjusted on the fly, um, which is just astounding. Um, so here I am. I'm building a pool of water. Uh, you'll notice I put down two buckets, and this piece in the corner is still. It's because the two pieces I put down are source blocks, is what they're called. And anytime two source blocks feed into another block, so the ones adjacent to them, it creates another source block. And it infinitely creates another source block. So I can just pick it up and grab more. Even though there's only two buckets of water eventually, there are two initial source blocks, I have now turned this little pool into 21 source blocks. So there we go. Isn't that great? Um, I'm sure it was a uh, function of design to help keep water smooth over level surfaces so it didn't just, like, flow like it does, even though it was level ground. Um, it should be mentioned that source blocks of water do not, uh, expand vertically. They only expand horizontally. It's like you, even if you have, like, um... Well, I don't know for absolute certainty. Like, if you were to say stair step two source blocks, and if the one they fed into and the one the other, like one above and then one below off to the side, and they would feed into the one that the other one would drain straight down into. So, I don't know if that would create a new. I need to practice. I need to try that sometime and actually see if that works. That'd be an interesting thing to find out. But uh, I'll have to save that for another day. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward. I like art in video games. Like, lately it seems that games have become way too much about technology and way too little about design. Like, I was uh, talking to uh, my future server admin and it brought up the thought of the way Final Fantasy is today. Like, I grew up... I started my Final Fantasy life with seven, and it was my first introduction to the series, and it was great for me. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And then I bought eight the day it came out, and then I bought nine the day it came out. And um, I didn't buy ten the day it came out, because honestly, I didn't have a PS2 at the time. But uh, <laughs> I did buy eight and nine. I even saw The Spirits Within in the movie theater the day it came out. So I was like, oh my god, I was... An insane square soft fanboy. And to be honest, I'm still a square soft fanboy. But Square Enix and it's everything it kind of represents rubs me the wrong way. Um the father, the, the I say the father, the figurative father of Final Fantasy was a guy named Hinorobu Sakaguchi, I'm probably horribly butchering his name, but he was like, he came in at like three, or it might have been two, and he just sort of went from a, uh, like an executive producer, creative development kind of position, and he became directors and overseers, and he, 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 was just like he had his hand in everything, from three all the way to Final Fantasy XI, and he wasn't big into the um, Final Fantasy 10 and 11 the way he was 9 through 3 or 3 through 9 because he was more or less the overseeing producer he was more or less like quality control than he was story or whatever so yeah that was you know he was he was great 
and he made Final Fantasy a treasured thing for years. And then he left the company, and he went off to create um, Infinity Ward, I think is the one he's doing. Yeah, the people that made um, A Thousand and Nine Nights or whatever it was, or A Thousand and One Stories or... Uh, no, Infinite Undiscovery, that's what it was. I don't know. I, my mind's like totally off of what it was. But his company made that, and they made the game Blue Dragon that came out exclusively for the Xbox 360. And it was just, you know, they, they, it was it was his brainchild. And things weren't quite uh, great at Square after he left. Like, 2001 was when Final Fantasy X was released. And it was a great game in its own right, but it was the first game that sort of broke the mold of what Final Fantasy really was. And, like, other games hinted at it, they got it started. Like, Final Fantasy VII, I think, was the instigator game that actually led to what I call the downfall of Squaresoft. Because with the introduction of the full motion videos that were added in 7, it, um, it really altered the way the game, way, way Squaresoft made their games. And it started as, like, a small, everything was, everybody was so excited, oh, these are great, I enjoy the movies, they're so much fun, and it's a neat little, oh, look at the graphics, and that's when it changed, and all of a sudden Final Fantasy went from this amazing gameplay story scenario to Oh my god, look at the graphics. And they kept their gameplay for a long time. And to be honest, it's still really solid. I mean, a lot of people have ragged on Final Fantasy XIII, myself included, about how it's like linear and the progression is just, it's, it doesn't feel like Final Fantasies. But they still have that core gameplay, like. Uh, wow, I just noticed that my bottom level is off by one block compared to my top level. Levels. Which means I'm going to have to change the bottom. Right. Anyway, like I was saying, Final Fantasy. Um, I bought every Squaresoft game that I could get a hold of between Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 9. I mean, I got Vagrant Story, Threads of Mana, Secret of Ma or Threads of Fate, Secret of Mana, Sino Gears, and uh, the Anthology Collection, the Chronicles Collection. Uh, I bought Chrono Cross. Um, you know, just everything I could get my hands on from them because they were so good, and their games were just like beyond excellent. They were just so quality that it was ridiculous. And I would love to have that Squaresoft back. But I get the feeling that without Sakaguchi there as an example, as a lead, that it's just not right anymore. Like, it doesn't work the way it used to. And I don't know if that's because he was that important, or if it's because... Yeah, that's not good. If it was because, you know... He just happened to coincide his exodus from the company when he could see that they were changing in a direction that I guess he may not have liked. I suppose that's possible, too. I mean, because something changed. And they merged with Square Enix. Uh, merged with Square Enix. They became Square Enix, and they merged with them. Now, for those that don't know, Enix, what, or the people that run it anyways, were originally part of Squaresoft. They branched out and separated themselves from Squaresoft in, um, in the beginning because they had some sort of difference of opinion over production or other. And then Enix went on to make Dragon Warrior and their the Dragon Warrior games. Uh, of course, it's called Dragon Quest in, uh, over there, but it's Dragon Warrior here because Dragon Quest is owned by someone else, story uh, name wise. But um, so 
I don't doubt Enix was great. Those games were awesome if you enjoyed those type of games. And they always had good story. But something happened when those companies joined together. And Squaresoft just hasn't been the same. It's just, like, their games have fallen down. Like, I really enjoyed Final Fantasy XII, despite its not-so-great reaction um, from a lot of fans. Uh, a lot of people didn't like it. I, I enjoyed it because it was part of Evil East, and I'm a huge fan of the Evil East universe. I, uh, I love Vagrant Story. It's got to be my favorite Evil List game, um, followed by Final Fantasy Tactics and then Final Fantasy XII. I've never played any of the sequels to Tactics, but uh, I haven't even bothered to get into it. But definitely uh, some of my favorite universe they've created so far. I definitely like it better than uh, Final Fantasy XII's Midgar or whatever. That, that just, or twelve seven. That just didn't agree with me at all. I just did I don't like... I mean, there... Eight was really bad about it. The uh, the amount of futuristic technology, and I know it's kind of like a Final Fantasy just cliche to have the um, what's the word I'm looking for to have the futuristic society that you run into late in the game kind of scenario. And they've always done something like that. And it's just, it, it is getting a little old. I'll give it that. <laughs> but, uh, it's also kind of just, you know, not the best. I think it do better. But, uh, yeah. So, wow, that was like a long tirade. Needless to say, it feels to me like Squaresoft has lost its heart. And it's, um... Familiar to the to the flaws of most RPGs today in general, like they just don't have the heart that they used to. Like they, they it seems to have lost something somewhere along the way, and they're just not the same as they were. Maybe it's just I'm getting older and more cynical than I was when I was younger. I'm not entirely certain, but. Something is different, and I'm not enjoying the games the way I did when I was younger. So, yeah, I like to get that feeling again. Like, I remember when I uh, first played some of the Final Fantasies, and oh, freaking hell, I almost died. <laughs> it was a massive fall. It's just, it's. I miss it. It's that feeling, that nostalgia, that wow factor you get from games isn't there anymore. And it's not just Squaresoft. It's it's a lot of companies. And a lot of companies still do amazing things with their games. But it's not that same feeling anymore. Like, it doesn't call out to you and make you go, wow, that was an awesome experience. Like, there's those rare games now and then that are just really above the par, but above par and just astounding and fun and genuine to play, but sometimes they're just crap. Like, even the greatest games are just crap. I mean, you can think, you can find any great game you love, and you can still find this horrible flaw, that's something that they could have done, but they didn't do. Like, why didn't they go this extra little mile? What was the reasoning behind not making it that much better than it was? And I mean, I know it comes down to, like, timing and production values, and I'm using a pick to remove dirt. Ugh, wasteful. Uh, <laughs> I know, I, I totally diverge on everything. Like, oh, I got this topic, and I'm diverging away on this topic, so... Let's see. Oh, creeper by the door. So, I've been babbling a while now about video games. Uh, today's background artist, musician, is Javier Anabarro Z. I don't know what his Z is for, but it is a Z. He's got an initial. 
So, yeah. It is a uh, classical piano instrumental piece. Uh, you know, these are kind of dark. Um, so, I like it. It's, uh, it's mellow. It's, it works for this. Right? You like it? I like it. To move my bed up. I don't think you can have a bed next to a solid base right at the foot of the bed. It seems to want to prevent you from sleeping in it. It's a shame you can't, like, set it down in the floor, but I don't want you to do that either. So, come on, just fall into it. Picky, picky stuff. Oop, missed that spot. Uh, I need to move the doors. Let's see. Oh, it's raining. I didn't even notice. Hi, Creeper. I got the music pr playing pretty loud on my end, so I don't even pay attention to the uh, other noises that go on sometimes. I mean, I'm just barely able to hear myself talk, so that's good enough. Let's see. Stone. Oh, zombie. Zombie! Die, zombie. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, these doors are fine. The other sides are wrong. Uh, let's go kill the zombie. The only thing I hate about the rain is that it allows the mobs to run around in daytime. So they don't catch on fire. Spent all this time adjusting the ground here and the, the bottom level and uh, made the vid excessively longer than it probably needed to be. Oh well. I'm sure everybody enjoyed hearing my ramblings. <laughs> Something to do while watching my incredibly long Minecraft video. Uh, I'm so glad I'm not limited to 15 minute uploads anymore. That would have just been exhausting. Uh, so. It's nice of YouTube to uh, allow me. I don't like that they required a cell phone to do that. I had to verify my account via cell phone. It's like, what is that? Not everybody has a cell phone these days. I mean, sure, most people do. And I guess you could argue most people that record videos would probably have a cell phone. Um, the fact that I can even record videos on my machine is rather impressive in its own right. <laughs> but uh, hopefully... You know, I'll be able to keep going and nothing bad will ever happen. The videos will keep, keep coming. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to light these up after all. The alcoves just seem kind of dark now that there's not a torch on the other side. Ugh, that's driving me nuts. That little lip of grass, I don't know why it was there, but it was annoying to look at. Alright. Okay. On with the next phase of the build that I've been putting off all this time. Let's see here. I need to... My mind's blank. I got so busy talking, I'm like forgetting what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's see. Oops, it is, oops, it is, oops. Rain, 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 rain. When I uh, first came up here, after I ended the last video... I uh, encountered a creeper up here and almost got myself blown up. <laughs> I was able to uh, take him down, thankfully. Right, can't get it from here. I'm going to go from the outside. I am going to build up my pillars now to increase their size. You know, like using a, uh, a pump. No, that's, wait, that's something totally different. Um, <laughs> not that kind of increase in size. But, uh, yeah, they're going to get bigger all right, but not that way. Let's get rid of the nasty things that want to ruin my day. I might get to work. All right, 
see, I need some water. So, I've, uh, I snapped a cool picture earlier, uh, of the build, of the build, of the, of the building, and, uh, I'm going to, uh, put a link to it in the, uh, the description bar, or the, whatever it's called, info bar, and, uh, it'll be available to, uh, check out. I was, uh, coming back from an expedition, doing some, uh, hunting for trees and whatnot, and I got into, uh, came back, I got, like, crazy, crazy lost, and it, uh, took me a while to find my way back, it actually took a day and a half, <laughs> I had to hide out in a little spot, waiting for night time to go away, and, um, when I came back, I uh, crested over one of the mountains off in the distance, and I could see the home from a distance, and, uh, it was, it was just, you know, it looks pretty cool from a distance. And, uh, I like it. No, uh, one more layer. Hm. Torches on trees. And water goes in the hole. Yay! Let's see. Can't really tell anything here. Okay, let's, uh... see it from the outside. Stupid dirt. Bye bye dirt. Hope you can even see. I know the uh, the colors and the uh, the texture of the of objects don't exactly preserve very well when it goes past Hmm. Oop. Into the water. Oh, look. The rain's going away. Awesome. There we go. So, I have my little fountain. Um. Hmm. That looks kind of gaudy, doesn't it? Hmm. I think I should alter that. Let's, um. Let's go step away and take a look. Because that looks really cool in my head. And it looks like crap now. <laughs> So, so, before I go build them on the others, uh, let's go take a look. Let's go find somewhere from a distance. Um, this mountain over here, mountain, hill, whatever, giant structure. Uh, this was the one I crushed it over when I took the image that I'll be including in the description as well. And uh, you can go ahead and check it out, but it'll be you'll be able to see it here in the end of the video as well. After I get up there. Because I am definitely about to call it end. I've gone well over 28 minutes now. So. This is going to be a long video. Alright. Oh yeah, that's... That's friggin' hideous. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, I gotta do something about that. That's just nasty. So, I'm gonna cut that down. And then build the one matching pieces around the, all of the other three for uh, the water flow, anyways. But I'll think of something. So, I guess that'll be it. I will uh, sign off here and see you next time. Goodbye and uh, peace out, or whatever. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, that's 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 just hideous, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh look, nighttime. Okay. This time, for real. Goodbye. I'm done. This has just gone too long. <laughs>